Hello and welcome to another episode, the first episode of 2019 of Man About a Dog Movie Podcast or Mad Movie Podcast. I'm the Ultimate Movie Geek and I'm joined tonight with by uh, Mrs. Movie Geek and I'm stumbling over my words already. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, so we're going to talk about, we're going to just do a short podcast tonight uh, because we've just seen a film. Um, Stan and Ollie at our local cinema. Um, but we've also been, well, we've binge watched quite a few things, haven't we, over Christmas break? And well, yeah, we have. Have we? Yeah. I think. Black, Black Mirror. We've watched Black oh, Mirror. Oh, yeah. Um, we watched Netflix You, uh, which was quite good. And and then this film. So we'll start with uh, which one do you want to start with? Let's start with the film. The film? Mm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Did you like the film? I like the film. I thought it was really good. We're uh, we we live in a place where uh, near where Stan Laurel was born. Nine miles away. Nine miles away. I used to live in that town. So we we were kind of brought. Well, I was brought up with Laurel and Hardy because I, I think I, 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 yeah yeah. But I think. Because of uh, because Ulverston is the place where he was born, there's a lot of uh, reference to that. So you, you you've got a pub called the Stan Laurel. Yeah. You've got a Laurel and Hardy museum next to the cinema. Yeah, well, there's a statue <laughs> there's of a Laurel statue, and Hardy, yeah. isn't there, outside the local theatre? Yeah, and so yeah, it's just sort of drilled into us. And we was we, when we were on the drive home, we were we were just talking about some of the the films that we've seen, and it's quite surprising how <laughs> how it sticks in your head. Like I mentioned when they were both uh, the babies and, and you mentioned that one of them had a toothache or something like that. And, yeah, and he had his head tied up. Yeah, and, and another one was where they were driving somewhere and there's music uh, over the film. But then the car stops because the music stops and one of them gets out and starts changing over the record that's in the bonnet. <laughs> And it's it's just it, they were brilliant. They were really good. Um, but what did you think of the film? Um, <laughs> it was good. I wanted it to like it more than I did. I think. Uh, yeah. I just felt it was a very not a mediocre film because I think the two actors, uh, Steve Coogan and what's he called John Donald, C. Riley, John C. Riley, um, bed were amazing in it. Um. They were really, really good. The mannerisms and everything were fantastic. Yeah. The acting was, was really, really good. They'd studied them yeah. down yeah. to a T, the haven't they? Body, even body, little body movements, not the big gestures, the little things, the, the tiny, awkwardness. Yeah. Um, with it, but I really, really wanted to enjoy it. I did enjoy it, um, but I found myself getting, not bored, but you know when you're a bit... Wanting something else to happen. Yeah, you you want. They focused on a period in the life yeah. where it was like sixteen years after they were at the height of fame. So they then they'd they'd, they'd gone the come separate down, ways. They? Yeah, and they'd not, and everyone thought they were retired. They were in England yeah. doing a uh, doing a tour music around music hall tours. Yeah, like really small theatres. You wouldn't in this day and age. It's like. I don't know, like Tom Cruise or someone in 10 years' time coming to the Forum 28 in Barrow, it's, <laughs> yeah. it would be unheard of. Um, and the story was there. It just didn't, like you said, it didn't... It, it was a non-story. It was just it was a, a bit of a telling of a tale. Yeah. It wasn't... A, there was no... I noticed it was based on a book, so I suppose the, right. the book's got... had all the information or, or whatever, but yeah. it just it didn't seem to peak... No, the, there was there was no part. Yeah, I know what you mean. And you just, I thought he was gonna die. Yeah, I did. Spoilers, he he doesn't die. He doesn't die. Up, obviously, they're both dead now. But <laughs> um, that's what at one point I thought was gonna happen because they're both older. Yeah. Um, Ollie's in ill health. Obviously, I mean, yeah. look at the size of him. He's you know he's got a lot of weight on him. He always did have. But it was a good film. Brilliant acting. It was really well shot as well. Yeah. But I just felt like they could have done a bit more. But like you but said, again, if, if, it, if they've picked a book to use rather than... If they've picked a book and, and if nothing really, nothing really exciting happened happen. in their life... At that point, yeah. At that point, you, you you know, I wouldn't have minded seeing the 
uh, where they went or, or maybe becoming yeah. famous. But I suppose you've got, you, you're then constricted to who you get to act. Because, but the, the two actors, they, they were just really, they were really well cast. Yeah, very and well they cast. They did the homework on them. It, yeah. it was really, really, really well done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just, it's a shame it didn't peak. <laughs> no, it's, um, it, it, it made me remember though, because when I was a kid, we used to watch all Laurel and Hardy films with my mum and dad. Yeah. Um, and I mean, we only had four channels. I can remember getting channel five. So we only <laughs> had four channels and then we got five channels before like everybody had Sky, yeah. which we do now and Netflix. And so you did you used to watch the oh, older yeah. films and every, I can remember watching them on a Saturday morning. We used to watch Lauren Hardy. Yeah. Um, and we, I used to find, I mean, sometimes I found it a bit boring because you used to think, oh, black and white films. <laughs> but actually I did like them. They're not them. though. They're just and really They were funny, funny. and like, what I'd forgotten, you do forget stuff and start yeah. watching that tonight. All the little noises and the little mmm and twiddling. Yeah. And it all comes back to you. And I was like, oh, God, yeah, you used to do that all the time. <laughs> and like that mmm, when he was angry at him and stuff. And it was like, oh, God, yeah, I forgot you did what, that. What they didn't do, which uh, I'm surprised at, is when like uh, Hardy would like hit Laurel on the head or poke him in the eye and something... Stan Laurel would cry. Yeah, he used and they to didn't. Go, they didn't do that in the film, yeah. did they? Yeah, because that you do that you'd with go, his hair. Yeah, they didn't and screw do that. His, face. Do his hair thing. Yeah, it was. It was good. It was um, good. You can. I just felt like the the story let it down because it just was a period of life where I suppose it is a bit duller. They yeah. had peaked and well, the, the peaks in the wrong, like you it said, was the last tour that they ever did, yeah. and they'd come over to sunny England. Yeah, they they, they mentioned about. Um, Oliver Hardy, spoilers by the way, <laughs> Oliver Hardy um, making a film with someone else and how Stan Laurel didn't didn't get, didn't like that, did he? And no, well he was out of contract, yeah. wasn't he, he said, didn't yeah. he? And he hated the guy they were working with, he wanted more money. Yeah. I think he realised how talented they were. Yeah. Um, and they weren't getting as much money as other stars at the time, like Chaplin. Um, but... Um, the other guy, Ollie. Yeah. Um, he was still under contract, wasn't he? Yeah, um, he was under contract for longer, so he had to work and he had to do a film with somebody else. Um, what? Well, yeah. And it was a sort of bad feeling amongst the film that I don't think Stan Laurel ever got over. No. The fact that he'd done it. And and I suppose that they worked that into the film as well because they were like saying that he had the chance to work with someone else because Oliver Hardy get gets sick yeah but then he cancels the show because he can't do it yeah and then even at the end after Oliver Hardy's died not he doesn't die in the film just no. saying in real life uh he never worked with anyone else he, he yeah. went into retirement he got of offers it. didn't he to yeah. work and do stuff and he didn't he chose not to yeah because he couldn't work without his palace balls yeah. and I've read a few bits actually I don't know why but I can remember reading stuff saying that he never got over his death right um so I think he must have really, you know, they obviously were really close and yeah. had a really lovely friendship, I yeah. suppose. Um, but no, it was good. It was well cast. I thought the women as well. I don't like the woman who played um, Ollie's Myrtle. wife. Yeah, it was Morning <laughs> Myrtle, like the Harry Potter films. Um, and I think probably just because of what she had in that. But her voice is so annoying. She's Bridget Jones and stuff yeah. as well, isn't she? Um, but she, you know, even she was quite yeah, all right yeah. in this film. And I think... Stan Laurel's wife was really funny. She's like really dry. No, I don't want to sit next to him. Like a really dry Russian woman who just didn't cut, pull any punches, did she? I don't she? want to see Buckingham Palace. No, no. The, yeah. <laughs> the Kremlin. Buckingham was... Palace is the doghouse. <laughs> doghouse. Yeah, it was good. I would, I would, I don't know. I think if you like Laurel and Hardy, I would go and watch it. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think it'll please some I don't... people. I, th I think if you don't have a clue who they are, it would be a boring film. I suppose, yeah, well, it is, isn't it? it? It's how long ago is it set? It's set what? In the nineteen fifty three. It's set nineteen fifties, right? So it's it's not the, the the majority of people in the cinema tonight were the older generation, weren't they? Yeah, we were the youngest. <laughs> we were yeah. the youngest. Um, so so yeah, it's not going to appeal to everyone. Um, but I think 
I think the majority of people will know who Laurel and Hardy are. Yeah, I'd hope so. And that's what I said to you. I watched it with my mum and dad when I was a kid. Yeah. I used to watch it with your mum and dad. And I think the fact as well that we only live a stop, you know, we yeah. you drive out of our, we're, we're near the sea hour, you drive down the coast road where we live and you come out to Ulverston. Yeah. It's, it's nine miles away from us. So whether that's influenced, because we're not particularly old, um, but I just think well, I've never sat and watched Lauren and Hardy with our eldest son, no. who's nine. Well, I I do want to show yeah. them now. <laughs> I think he would probably find it find it quite funny with his sense of humour. But I just think there's a generation now. It's getting to that age with them. Isn't it's it? going to pass people by. It'll isn't pass it? them by because there's Netflix. There's you know there's Amazon, there's everything yeah. now. But that's a good thing about this film as well. It 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 could bring in a new audience if they watch this film and because some of the acts that they do. Uh, and they, over the credits, they show what they do at the beginning of the film. And they've pretty much done it shot for shot. Yeah. Which is really nice. Yeah. Even because they, they even cut to a group of bystanders. I, I know we were, we were walking out at that point, but I noticed that they cut when they went through the uh, saloon doors, they cut to the cowboys on the left. So it shows that they actually went into yeah, quite a bit of detail with the film. Yeah. But yeah. I think I think maybe we should maybe show the kids. No, I think they'd enjoy it. It's it is funny. Yeah. Oh, mm. it's yeah, it's classically funny. It and is. like we were talking about when we got home, um, and we leave the babysitter, <laughs> <laughs> also known as mother in law, um, <laughs> and she was talking about the films and yeah, and like how all the modern, well, not modern, but some modern day, and then. People in England in the like 50s, 60s, 70s all replicated yeah. so you the had same like style. The Markham and Wise, uh, the two Ronnies and all that. The double acts who would like base themselves, well not yeah. base themselves, but uh, they take so cues was, from them. Yeah, and there was one straight guy. That's what you always yeah. usually get, don't you? The yeah. one straight guy. And that was the same with him where he plays the more serious one. Yeah, so it's like Ernie Wise was a straight guy, wasn't one. he? Yeah. And then yeah. Eric Markham who yeah. could just make you laugh by looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it. I, did. I don't think it's gonna be everybody's cup of tea. I don't and you was you were saying in the cinema, weren't you? Like looking around and I think there was fourteen people in the cinema. Yeah. Uh you were like, well, how did he make the money doing this? But I don't know. <laughs> they yeah. they just it's that's that's it, is it? I don't think it's gonna break break the bank, but it was probably made for quite a small amount of money anyway. I think it's made for the probably yeah. Academy Awards and all that. Do you think? Uh, I don't know because work. of the release. It might be for next year. Yeah. I don't know about this year. I don't know. I enjoyed it. Yeah. But I did. I know Lauren Hardy. Yeah. I wouldn't have dreamed of going. I I would I would watch it, even if you just watch it when it comes out. Yeah. But it's like you compare it to the last biopic that we went to see, which was the uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. <laughs> Just different. Yeah, it's completely totally different, different, isn't it? it? Yeah. No, it was a good time. I'm going to give it um, three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. Uh, no, I'll probably give it, yeah, I'll probably give it three. Probably just slap down the middle. No, no, I'll give it four. Because uh, I enjoyed Steve Coogan. I thought it was really, really good. Yeah. Just the mannerisms. There's a, there's a scene where he's uh, he's cracking an egg and just uh, the actions he does is he's brilliant. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it is. It? Yeah. Okay. Shall we move on to some TV shows that we've watched? Yeah. What do you want to talk about first? Um, should we do Black Mirror first? Should we do Black Mirror, yeah, because yeah. we did... Watched that in, like Christmas to New Year, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we watched. We we start, We haven't watched it before. Um, I remember it coming on Channel Four years ago, but we started with Bandersnatch, which was the. Oh, what's it called? Select. No. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Select it on Netflix. Basically, it's your choice. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So you make the choices, and and we did that one night, didn't we? And um, we haven't gone back to do the other. Uh, the other, other choices, so the yeah. other selections, so I don't know. But after that, we went into the series and started from the beginning. So, what did you think of the um, series overall? Well, we watched, we started, we did actually, we watched um, 
After the Bandersnatch. Oh, yeah, we did, yeah, because we, we made watched a mistake. something like one out of series four, didn't we? Yeah. Or series three, and it was one where the daughter goes missing briefly, so she gets the implant put in her, and yeah. she watches her throughout her life. Um, and I really, really enjoyed that, and that's what caught I was like, oh, that's really good. Yeah. Um, and we said we went back, didn't we? And so we didn't realize that wasn't the first series, so we, we watched it in chronological order. Um, it's very clever. Some of them are fantastic. Some of them I found boring. Yeah, um, I agree. Very hit and miss. Um, and it's a bit all over the place because it's it's like some of them you've got Hollywood stars in, and then the next one it's like a scouse, you know, like a scouse <laughs> one that you've never yeah. seen before and. It's very, very clever, and it made me very feel very pessimistic about social media and technology. Yeah. Um, because I'm a bit. I mean, I'm on Facebook and stuff, but I find it all bullshit. Yeah. I do. I do personally. I don't. I don't do selfies. I very rarely do selfies. Anyway, I'm not a vain person, and people who probably take fan selfies might find that a bit. <laughs> but it's a very vain thing. Yeah. Like. Only talking about the positive things, but you're not going to go on social media, I suppose, and say, oh, I've had a really boring day today, I'm done out, and I've ate cereal for me tea. Oh, you know what? When Facebook started, I did. Yeah. I used to tell people when I'd go to the toilet. Nice. Because that was what it was about. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't get it, and I don't know. Um, It was very, it's very, and I think that's the aim of it, it makes you realise that... Life is more than, yeah, it's than like, the box in your hand, in your pocket. And it's not real. And the one with the last out of Ron Howard Star, I can't think of a name. Yeah, the, um, oh, I can't remember what it's got. 50, I can't remember. But yeah. Um, she She's out of Jurassic World with um, Ginger Hair. Bryce Dallas lady. Howard. Bryce Dallas Howard, that's it. She, um, the one she was in was fantastic because it was just all about likes. Yeah. And you thrived on, you'd have a, in social interaction, you had to score people out of five constantly. Yeah. And everyone was just fakely doing, hi. You and yeah. giving everyone a five, and then there was these real people who didn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. they didn't give a fuck, and they were just like scoring each other one. Yeah, and it was like you could. They were the real people. The, yeah, like the guy in the. And they uh, were free. They were living in the, the fuel, lives. Yeah, uh, fill up station. He was like, I'm gonna give you one. Yeah, <laughs> it was just um there were some of them were really really. And like the one with him, um, the woman who's Doctor Who now, Jodie Whittaker. Yeah. That was a good one. Where you one. can record all your memories. Yeah, and she, she, like her husband had been for a job interview and all that lot. And then I think he realised, it was very obvious from the outset, yeah. she cheated on him or was cheating on him. And then he was slowly thinking back over bits and agree because you have this implant and you can and you wind can, yeah. it and analyse stuff and be the worst thing ever because you yeah. just second guess everything. How much you time would you anything. spend doing all that? Yeah, instead of living your life. Um it's very, very clever. Um I really, really enjoyed yeah, it. I did. it. You know, and some of them were a bit I, I got a bit bored. Um but it did it made me th- made me think a lot about where it's heading with social media and technology <laughs> and stuff and it does it makes you a bit like pessimistic. Yeah. Um, but what, I don't know, I'm just waffling now. No, you're not. No, it's good. It, it, but, yeah, you're right. Um, I do think that there are standouts in the series, in each series. I think a lot, of, uh, some of them are, are really not very good. Mm. And off the top of my head, I, 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 we were like, we don't like the first episode. And I think you said to me, if we'd have watched this one first, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have continued it. watching anymore. I would say that about the first two or three. Yeah. Yeah. I just found it ridiculous. I it think. The Prime Minister and the Pig. Yeah. And I was like, it's stupid. I was like, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. He wouldn't. They wouldn't have done that ever. And it, yeah, I was a bit like, no, nah, if I'd have watched this, that would have been it. I wouldn't have watched him. But, uh, that's not on Hardy on TV. Oh, that's weird. That is weird. Got the TV on mute in the background <laughs> and uh, Lauren Mahari are just on for some reason. Well, I think Arson Wells directed that film. All oh, right. How strange. Um, I think the first series got good when it was... Um, oh, I can't remember what his name is. Uh, it was Agent Carter from Captain America yeah. and her boyfriend? Or hus- yeah. Was it boyfriend? boyfriend? Yeah. yeah. He died and she discovers that she's pregnant and there's this new thing that can take all your social media um, interactions and get a 
personality out of that. So they use that and then telephone conversations to get his voice. But then it goes one step further and you can put this personality into a body. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I think it was meant to bring comfort originally yeah. and you could, it downloaded all the social media and all the rest on it and just replicated them and having a conversation with them. But yeah, it was a weird one. Yeah. It was good. But that's what I mean. I think that was when it when it changed for me and I thought, no, I, I enjoy this. Yeah. And then there's a few more after that. I think I, I enjoyed the bike one as well. Um, You know, the guy who has, has got to keep pedalling yeah, that Every was day. quite good, yeah, yeah. Again, but disheartening. Yeah. Everything's just a bit soul destroying <laughs> with them. There was only ever a couple, I think, that had an actual happy, happy ending. ending and you were like, oh. Um, but no, it was really, really good. I would recommend it. Yeah. Yeah, tell people to stick with it. It's one of them where you to, say, to oh, be stick honest, with it. To be honest, I think we're the last ones to it. Yeah, <laughs> we probably are. It's a bit like Peaky Blinders, don't watch that. We haven't watched that, but yeah. I'm, I'm being called Peaky Blinders because of my new hat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I yeah I enjoyed it. I can, I'm looking forward to the next series, if whenever that will be. Um, all right. We can't really talk more about that, can we? Because I can't no. even remember any episodes. Oh, you don't want to ruin it for everybody else either. But there's, there's I think there's like pretty much four episodes per season. Yeah, something something like, that. like that. And the Christmas special was fantastic. Oh, it was. Yeah, yeah. that was really. That good. was possibly one of the best. It, yeah. it had a few people in, didn't it? Uh, John Hamm. Um, Rafe Spall. Spalling, yeah, Spalding. Spalling. Spalding. Spalding. <laughs> Spalding. Sure, Spalding. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was really, really good. Really it was. dark, really dark, uh, but really good. Yeah, and funnily enough, and a lot of the <clears throat> previous episodes tie into that. So all the technology yeah. we've seen and all the bits and bobs that had gone on. There's a lot of like we 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 look at each other and we're like that's like an early early time from that other episode where the technology is yeah, being, developed being developed and, and, and yeah. all that it is, it is clever and it, it's I like the fact that that because it was an extra long episode wasn't it the Christmas one and uh, was it called White Christmas yeah or something like that and um, should have called it Black Christmas Black Christmas <laughs> and there was a lot of stories in one and the ending again is bleak yeah for for the for for Rafe Spall's character, for Rafe Spall's memory <laughs> or whatever, yeah. for John Hamm as well, yeah, and it's mental because oh, 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 I don't know. Do we want spoilers? I'm gonna no, go. No, not spoilers. Oh, no. Well, somebody hasn't seen so, it. It's yeah. a good one. No, it's very very good. It's it's really really good. Yeah, yeah watch it. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, we this is we've watched this what over the last four five days, we've we've binged ten episodes in in that amount of time. Um, Netflix series you, you, which I think if you've got Netflix, you'll have seen the advert. Um, go on, Powell. You explain what it is. It's basically <laughs> a guy works in a bookshop, and a woman comes in. He takes a fancy to her. He's a bit of an odd looking guy. We can't decide. Like, as a woman, there's parts, he's like, he looks quite fit. And then other times, <laughs> he's just like this scrawny, odd looking guy. He's a bit, he's a bit, his head's a bit big, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, that's beside the point. Yeah. Um, this attractive lass comes in um, and it kind of goes from but, there. But hang on, from a man's point of view, she's not that attractive. No. <laughs> just carry on. I was just taking a piss. Um, and it's basically a story, and we're not doing any spoilers because you see it from the trailer. The trailer, yeah. Is that he's like a stalker. Um and he starts he just starts following her, he starts like one of the weird ones was he stood outside her apartment yeah. wank, wank, wanking off in the middle of the street. Yeah. I mean obviously you don't see everything, but um yeah, I mean it, it was a bit there was a couple of times I was like, Oh, it's a bit odd. Um and we stuck with it and there's ten episodes, isn't there? Yeah. And it's it is Really it's clever. It, yeah. He's, it's a bit like Dexter. We kept saying he's very like Dexter. Yeah. Where you root for him, even though he's like a bit he disturbed. Is mental. And you can't decide whether he's doing things from a good place. So like, he's not a mass murderer or anything. No. But he's certainly instrumental in people's deaths. Yes. Um, 
and he's got, you want to give him the benefit of the doubt. You do. You want to, because he's, there's a young lad who lives next door to him, there's a lot of domestic abuse going yeah. on and neglect and he helps him quite a lot. Yeah. Um, And you can see that he's a good guy and he is trying to do his best and he really does want to make the woman that he's seeing happy. Yeah. And all he wants to do is make her happy and love her. Um, But it is, it's proper twisted, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It, it makes you think, doesn't it? Like, is, is he doing... Like you say, he is doing stuff that <laughs> a lot of other people are doing bad things too. Yeah. And they're not looking out for this woman's um, Best well-being yeah. and all that. Yeah. And then he comes along and, and changes things. Yeah, he may, I mean, he makes her happy, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. She's got daddy issues, like most damaged people. Um, and her friends are assholes. Yeah. I mean, a couple of her friends are okay, but her close friends are assholes. They don't really give a shit about her. Yeah. And um, the user, and one of them has, like, evidence against, it. well, pretty much everyone, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, it just... But you do, and you do, it's funny, because you do see it, I suppose, in life where there's people where they seem surrounded by loads of friends, and actually they haven't got a real no. friend in the room. No. They just look like they have, and, you know, I certainly know people who are like that, yeah. definitely. Um. Well, yeah, it's it's interesting. You don't really empathise with her. She's she's no, not a likable character. No, I said to you, yeah. um, So you don't kind of you, you, and that's what's weird because <laughs> you do kind of root for him a bit. Yeah. Um, but it, it's you good. do you you get behind him after if, uh, the first few episodes. You it it becomes like uh, like how Dexter was like you want him to get away with what he's doing. Yeah. Um, because he doesn't he he only. <laughs> hurts kind of bad people. Yeah, I mean, he tra- he's just looking out for her. So yeah. anyone who hurts her, he, he's not having it, basically, yeah. isn't it? And I mean, he's not a planned, he's not thorough. No, he did, you know. not clever like what Dexter was. Yeah, I don't know how many times um, I called him thick for yeah. doing what he did. He's a bit rubbish, and he just yeah. to act on the minute, and now he never got caught, although I suppose this is only series one. Yeah. Uh, but there's a big twist at the end of the series. So yeah, which um, I didn't think would, would happen. Yeah, we did say that. Oh, which, oh, yeah. the, the last scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I thought I saw that coming, but I, I, meant, I meant the scene before. But no, uh, definitely worth a watch. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you watch it because it, it's proper, it, it's a good thriller, actually. Um, but again, it's a lot of uh, negativity towards social media. Isn't it yeah, again? It's again that people are living these lives that people think that they should lead. Yeah. And posting everything on social media, like look at what I've had for my tea and yeah. look at where I am tonight. Well, yeah, because look she, who I'm with. Yeah, she's got two friends, hasn't she? Uh, yeah. One of them sells. She's she's pretty much she sells herself on line. Instagram. It's it? showing new clothes off, and that's how she gets paid. And the other one, I can't remember what the other one did. But she, it was something online as well. Yeah. <laughs> it, but it, it's it's one of those where it, it's probably in line with Black Mirror. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> dim view of of a lot of people. I think it's um, I think it's in the trailer that as soon as she leaves the shop or as soon as the day's over, he looks into her. He he stalks her online. Yeah, he knows um, everything about her, yeah. even her address and everything, yeah. because everything's just because out because of there a now. picture, wasn't it? It was yeah. a picture online, and. You, I think you even said it was like, well, that, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is, isn't it? And some people have, you know, whatever social media is, is open and they yeah. add friends and yeah. accept requests off, all kinds of weirdos. I mean, I, I get, you get requests off people and you think, how, how do, do they, they see even it? find yeah. you? I've got, like, I get it a lot on Instagram. I just, I've got loads sat waiting for approval. I'll just ignore them. Because <laughs> you think, well, who are they? And why would they want to ignore you? Uh, ignore you. Ignore you. Well, that's me. <laughs> you freak. <laughs> Why would they want to contact you? I just don't. I don't get it. People are getting a bit removed from real life. I yeah. suppose you say stuff online that you would never say to people in real life. Yeah, it is it's a bit a bit linked. I had a friend like that, there. didn't I? And he went a bit crazy online. He was very vocal online about people, and. <laughs> Yeah, never mind. I'm just a job <laughs> I don't know who you're on about. Oh, he's yeah. just a racist idiot. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So, that's why I said had a friend. Yeah. Yes. But never mind. 
But no, I, I urge people to watch you. It's it's very all right, dog. We'll go out in a minute. All right. So I think shorter than usual, um, but it is our first podcast of the new year. Um, and we'll be getting more out, hopefully weekly, <laughs> to the next year. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's time. It's always time. Um, I'm the Ultimate Movie Geek. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, at worldgeeklynews.com. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, at the Ultimate Movie Geek. And you can see videos there when I put them on. <laughs> uh, that's all for tonight. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.